the Philippines is home to all sorts of weird and fascinating creatures, but none more so than the bizarre little goblin that lives within its deepest jungles. This creature looks like something out of a Grimm's fairy tale, with the biggest eyes for its size of any mammal, and an appetite for flesh. But to actually see one isn't easy, since not only are they extremely elusive in nature, but you're not going to find one in any zoo. So the only surefire way to see one in person is to travel to one of only a few select jungles on the planet, one of them being the island that I'm flying to today. Alright, we have arrived on the island of Bohol, one of the largest tourist destinations in the Philippines. And the reason it earns that title is because of two things that are both found on the 200 Philippine peso. In the background, we have the Chocolate Hills, a unique geologic formation, these massive hills that rise up out of the countryside and number around 1,500. But today, we are looking for the bizarre little creature featured in the foreground, that being the Tarsier. And this is one of the only places on Earth where I'll have a chance to see this really cool little mammal. This island runs on tarsiers. Every store you walk into is stocked to the brim with tarsier merchandise, ranging from the very cute to the extremely disturbing, which all serve to build up hype and generate money around the island's star attraction. However, these little animals are incredibly elusive, only being active in the evening and shying away from people. So that's why, in order to see one, I'm going to a local sanctuary, where wild tarsiers arrive every morning to have a safe place to sleep protected from predators. And with the help of some local guides, it's going to be my best shot at filming a wild tarsier. Now for anyone trying to see a tarsier of your own, there are two sanctuaries on the island, but only one is an actual accredited wildlife sanctuary, where their goal is to conserve and protect the species and not make a profit. That's why I'm going to the Philippine Tarsier Sanctuary in Corella. Visitors are instructed to keep their voices as quiet as they can and not use flash photography as these can stress out the animals. Tarsiers are so sensitive to human presence that they often die in captivity, which is why, to my knowledge, you can't find them in any zoo, which is why this place is my best shot at seeing this delicate little animal. I arrived right when the sanctuary opened so that the tarsier will be as awake as possible before they crash out for the day. My hope is to get a shot of one with its gigantic eyes open, something most people don't get to see if they aren't here early. And after walking into the protected habitat, it didn't take long for our guide to spot our first tarsier. You might expect this primate to be hiding high up in the canopy, but as you can see, I actually have to duck down to get a good view. And what an incredible view it was. Such an absolute gremlin. Nothing I've seen even comes close to the weirdness of this creature. You know those people who complain that you aren't getting their good angle in a photo even though they look exactly the same no matter which way they turn? Well, for a Tarsier, I can understand them saying that because every time this thing moves its head, it looks completely different. It can go from Dobby the Elf to some cute little mouse puppy hybrid to I don't even know what that is, but it's hilarious. Hilarious. Luckily, it's still early enough to see its eyes open, and my god are they so striking. Not only are its eyes so large that they're bigger than its brain, but they can't even move in their sockets. So like an owl, tarsiers have to turn their whole head up to 180 degrees to look around. The reason their eyes are so massive is that they help the tarsier look for food at night. And being the only carnivorous primate, they eat anything from insects, lizards, snakes, and even misbehaving children who don't eat their vegetables. These guys are the second smallest primate on Earth only about the size of a fist. And you might be thinking that it's probably related to lemurs and those other whack looking primates out there, but believe it or not, it's actually more closely related to monkeys, apes, and yes, even us humans. So as I leave my long lost relative, I hope I left a great impression on behalf of our species and nope, totally fumbled it, wow. The Tarsier, one of the coolest and most bizarre little creatures I've ever had the pleasure of spending time with. But here on the island of Bohol, there is another other mammal that I would argue is even more fascinating. So stick around because next time we're going to be looking for the weirdest gliding animal on earth.